Hey, hi everybody, it's Danny Shirt, composer, producer, co-writer of the Stan Movie Musical. Welcome to Musical Mondays, today's episode. Give this director an Oscar. Welcome back everybody. Stan is playing on virtual cinema as we speak. Ticket link in the description below. The Stan Movie Musical is directed by Hollywood veteran Robert Adetui, the Canadian writer-producer who's been in Hollywood for the better part of three decades. Let's do a little drop-the-needle retrospective on Robert's career and see why he was particularly suited to direct the Stan movie musical and why I think he deserves an Oscar. It's pretty safe to say that music has a big part in all of Robert's films. He burst on the scene with a film that he wrote and directed called Turn It Up that starred no less than Ja Rule and Jason Statham. Turn It Up explores that all too often connection between the underworld and the music industry. Next up is an example of Robert spreading his writer's wings with the hilarious code name The Cleaner, which starred Cedric the Entertainer and Lucy Liu. But then here's the movie for which Robert is mostly known, the smash commercial and artistic success Stomp the Yard. With Stomp the Yard, Robert solidified his position in Hollywood as the go-to guy for hip-hop dance movies. And then further solidifying his role as Hollywood's go-to guy, Robert wrote and directed You Got Served, Beat the World. And then Robert brought his highly energetic visual dance style to the world of cheerleading with Cheer Smack, Bring It On. So when we were looking for a director for the movie that was at that time going to be called Strike and became known as Stand, also Robert's doing, we were looking for ideally a Canadian and someone who was well versed in cutting to music with a highly visual style. Our first discussion with Robert's Hollywood agent had the agent say, have I got the guy for you? And he was totally right. But although the Stan movie musical has shades of Hamilton, it is certainly not a hip hop dance musical. It's a period movie musical set 102 years ago against the 1919 Winnipeg General Strike. This is where Robert's personal background, growing up in a multiracial family in a northern mining town in Ontario, Canada, make him such a great choice for the Stan movie musical. I'll let him tell you in his own words. I related to it on so many levels. On one, there's this Romeo and Juliet story. Uh, and, you know, my own parents are an interracial couple. And uh, when they were, well, when they wanted to get married, uh, the church didn't want to marry them. There was all that issue. And in this story, as soon as I got to the part where, you know, she's ca he's Catholic, she's Jewish, and there's this whole conflict about them being together. I just related to that entirely. I thought, wow, that was my parents back then having to struggle, you know, to raise a family and go through that. So that hit me right away. But then it further went into the whole idea of people's rights and the, you know, collective bargaining and all of that. And I thought, wow, this story is really speaking to our needs today. So on many levels, the story just resonated with me. So there's what a director brings, who a director is, and then what a director does. And what Robert did was make a bigger, better, bolder movie that's ripped from today's headlines, even though it's set 102 years ago. You know, one of the things that drew me to the screenplay was uh, the whole aspect of the union and the struggle of the working class and how when you unite, uh, you're able to overcome all of these different conflicts. Other workers in this city are done waiting for a promise that never comes. Is it not time to stand together and demand our rights? But at the same time, when I read the screenplay, I noted that there were really of no people of color in the story. And so I'd asked Rick and Dan, uh, you know, why that had happened. And it was interesting because uh, when they looked at the history books at the time in 1919, there really weren't any pictures with people of color associated with any of those events. And so what I had explained to them is that it's like what you need to do sometimes when doing a historical picture is widen the lens. Because quite often, the photographer of the time really didn't see the need to include people of color, indigenous people, certain working class people as well. Um, it was that bias. And once we looked into the history of Canada in terms of the people of color, there were plenty of photographs, um, but they were all excluded from being in these particular so-called historical documents.
but in the margins and out of frame were women, uh, people of color, indigenous people, uh, etc. And so their contributions were often overlooked. And so we investigated which characters in the story could be better represented uh, either through a person of color or an indigenous. And we decided that we'd create this character of Emma. But ma'am, I've been working here for seven years and not once have you offered me a raise. In the script originally, it was a character who was white and Irish and she had one song and we took her character and expanded her to become one of the leading characters and made her an African-American woman whose family had come up to Canada around the 1900s to get away from all the race tensions in Oklahoma. My family came from Oklahoma 10 years ago running from lynchings. Well, her character became a very important uh, aspect of the story and through that came the song Stand. Uh, which is a very strong, liberating song that she sings and, uh, in fact, became the title of the movie. I've drawn my line in the sand And this is where I stand So that's why I believe Robert truly deserves an Oscar nomination for Best director. So you might not be a voting member of the director's branch of the Academy of Motion Picture Arts and Sciences, but you can still help by sharing this video like a beast. Let's get Robert that nomination. Hey, if you're digging our content, think about subscribing, give us a like, leave us a comment. You can get the music from the Stan Movie Musical on iTunes, and you can watch the whole movie at the link in the description. As always, stand by and stand up for human rights.